Hey, good. How you doing? The first and most important question is, did your mom pick up the call? She did. Nice. She picks up on the first ring now every time. <laughs> That's perfect. She's yeah. learned. Um, how excited are you? I mean, tonight it's going to actually happen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, still processing, but uh, yeah, uh, very excited. Um, I mean, if obviously I've dreamt of this my entire life and um, now not only the opportunity to to play in the uh, NHL, but also for my hometown team that uh, I grew up watching. What's it been like this morning in terms of things that the teammates have said to you or, or you know, just the way you've gone through the morning, knowing that tonight isn't a maybe, it's a for sure. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think pretty much, I mean, just about every single guy in the locker room's taken me aside and and uh, said, you know, like, good luck. Um, you know, it's, it's a special moment. Just enjoy it, have fun out there. Don't be too nervous, stuff like that, so. Uh, yeah, everybody's been really supportive and and excited for me, and and uh, I'm just as excited as well. Preston, when did you get the call that you were coming up, and when did you find out you would be in the lineup tonight? Uh, Clark, he called me yesterday about noon, um, and kind of unexpected. Uh, so obviously, I was really excited about that. Called my mom as usual, and then uh, I found out this morning, right when I got to the rink, uh, when the lineup was posted, that that I'd be playing. So I sent off a text to my family before getting on the ice and uh, haven't checked my phone yet. So I'm excited to see what they all had to say. Yeah, I'm sure you were disappointed in Buffalo to have been there close and not played. How much better is this to be home? Uh, everyone can be here. I'm guessing you're going to have people here. Just how much, how much more meaningful is it to be at home and, and have that around you? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, you're going to be happy wherever your first game is, but it's just that much more special. Uh, you know, the rink I grew up coming to and, and uh, cheering on the Blue Jackets. I, like, I've come to so many games with my dad here. And and uh, now, you know, my dad's going to be in the stands along with, uh, I don't even know how many family members are going to try and come in. But, um, yeah, they're all going to get to watch me tonight. And, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to put into words. What is your focus tonight? What are you telling yourself about how to, to get into this game and just try somehow to make it another game, I guess? Yeah, you know, I'm just going to try and treat it like another game, even though it's, it's obviously not. I'm just, uh, just going to try and play simple, uh, play hard, finish my checks, um, compete as hard as I can, and, and just try and enjoy every moment of it because, uh, you know, never knew if, if I'd actually make it this far, and, and uh, here we are. We've talked a lot about the Ohio AAA Blue Jackets, obviously. There's going to be three of you guys in the forward lineup tonight. Um, that's pretty crazy when you think about it. Uh, what is this going to mean, you know, for, for local hockey? Have you? I mean, I think it's pretty incredible that uh, there's now three of us from the same uh, youth organization on the same team here in the NHL. And, you know, I think it's just kind of a testament to what, what Ed Ginger's done with the program. And I know he's, he'll definitely be here tonight. Uh, uh, hopefully he's on the glass so he can see us during warmups. Um, I think we're going to try and get a picture before the game, all three of us together, because, uh, I'm not sure if something like this will, will ever happen again. It's, it's rare enough to get two guys on the same team, but uh, now three is pretty special. You guys, all three of you have gone to these local rinks ever since you became pros when you were in college and things like that, seen other kids. You've talked about, you know, meeting, you know, kids who are 12 years old, 13 years old. I mean, just how cool is that going to be for those kids, you know, that you, you guys have met at these local rinks to look out there and there's, there's three locally raised guys playing. Yeah. I mean, I think it's awesome for the kids. I mean, the, the more, uh, the more guys that make it through to, uh, you know, the American league and the NHL and, and even D one, like it, it just shows these kids that, uh, that, you know, they can have belief in, in the, uh, triple A blue jackets organization to get them where they want to go. If they're willing to put the work in, you know, there's, there's great coaches there and it's a great organization. And, and just being able to see all three of us uh, at a Columbus Blue Jackets game, I, I think it's, it's awesome for the kids. They're going to, you know, I think it'll give them some more motivation. Person, have the Blue Jackets given you an indication of what they liked in your game that prompted the call up? And have they given you any sort of a thought as to how the rest of the season is going to go? Is this a lengthy look? Is this a see what happens tonight and go from there? Yeah. I, you know, I don't really know as far as the rest of the season. I'm just, uh, just focused on tonight right now. And, and, uh, we're just going to take it, you know, day by day. But, uh, as far as my play, um, I know they always stress, uh, just competing, finishing all my checks, 
uh, going hard to the crease, stuff like that. Just, just being like a reliable player who, uh, who's always going to work hard and, and, and just play the right way. And, um, you know, regardless of if I'm scoring or, or, you know, producing or not, um, all, all that they've really, uh, care about is that I'm playing hard and playing the right way. And, and, uh, that's how I've, I think, uh, gotten rewarded here. Been away from a high state for a couple of years, but do you expect some of your former teammates or even Coach Rollick to be here tonight? Yeah, uh, I haven't talked to Coach Rollick yet, but I know uh, at least a few of my teammates are, are planning on coming. Um, so I, I'm really excited about that. You know, hopefully uh, get a chance to see him after the game for a little bit because, you know, we've obviously had a lengthy schedule up in Cleveland, so I haven't had a chance to see him in quite a while, but, but uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing those guys. How much did that last call up uh, maybe help you prepare for tonight? Um, I think it'll help, you know, like uh, just taking warm ups in Buffalo, I think kind of got a little bit of the jitters out of the way. I mean, I say that now who it could be a different story tonight, but, but I think it, it just maybe better prepared me for tonight's game because uh, I already kind of went through the roller coaster of maybe playing and then not. So, so hopefully that helps ease my nerves a little bit tonight. We'll see. Uh, you've had a chance to uh, no. A, a long chance to get to know uh, the other cylinder in Cleveland, but how's that gone? And, and uh, what do you like about his game and have you gotten to know him a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, I think he's played maybe five games with us now. Um, really nice guy. Uh, I like him a lot. He uh, he's a good player too. He's um, he's getting chances up there and uh, you know, he's going to, I'm sure he's going to score his first one. Maybe next game he's getting on himself a little bit because he, he wanted it to happen already, but um, yeah, he's a really good guy. I, I like him quite a bit. He sits right next to me in the locker room. So uh, it's cool to get the chance to know him after, you know, meeting his little brother at uh, training camp in Traverse City. Kind of a similar path too, right? College and then into the age. Huh? Yeah, 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 similar. Um, both of us played uh, all four years in college and then um, came out a little bit later, uh, you know, unlike a lot of the major junior kids like, you know, Jake Christensen, who, who starts pro um, much younger than us, but, um, you know, everybody's got their own path. And, and uh, yeah, we had, we had pretty similar paths in that terms. Thanks, guys. Thank you.